Hello! Good day everyone! Welcome! Again, this is Gabriel Gamana. On this video, we will start to tackle chapter 3, which is the function approximation and interpolation curve fitting, with its first topic, the so-called Taylor polynomial approximation. So let's start! Engineering is loaded with numerous complicated relations and equations that is too difficult to translate for practical application. In that sense, most of the advanced and sophisticated analysis in engineering works with the aid of Taylor series. Taylor series is a representation or translation of a function as an infinite sum of terms that are calculated for the values of the function's derivatives at a single point. It means that the function can be approximated by using finite number of terms of its Taylor series. And as the number of terms increases, as well as the accuracy of the approximation. The Taylor polynomial for one variable is given by the equation below, where when a is equal to zero, it is called Maclaurin series. Or much simpler, Taylor series is a very important concept in numerical methods. It is so important that almost three chapters laid their foundation to this concept. So please make sure that you really understand the idea before leaving this chapter. To further illustrate the principle, let's say for example that we have a function that is equals to e raised to x, and by applying the Maclaurin series, we have the first term, which is the function at x equals 0, and that is equals to e raised to 0, while the second term has the first derivative of the function at x equals 0, and still that is equals to e raised to 0, multiplied by x divided by 1 factorial. For the third term, it has the second derivative of the function at x equals 0, and still that is equals to e raised to 0 multiplied by x squared divided by 2 factorial. The same manner will apply for the other terms. So by simplifying the equation, we have the function e raised to x can be approximated by the series of polynomials, the so-called Taylor polynomials. And to visualize this idea, as we increase the number of terms we use in the Taylor polynomials, you will notice that the approximate solution gradually adapts the characteristics of the function with a limited range of x value. To emphasize, if I isolate the graph of third degree Maclaurin series, you will notice that it is accurate within a limited value of horizontal axis. And as the degree of series increases, its validity or accuracy with respect to the horizontal axis also increases to the point that in the 14th degree, the graph of the approximate solution is almost identical to the graph of the exact solution. To deeply understand the principle, let's solve a problem. Find the third term using Maclaurin series expansion for the equation below. f of x is equals to cosine of x. Before we start, Let's determine the value of the function when x is equal to 0. So f of 0 is equal to cosine of 0, and that is equal to 1. Then, for the first derivative, we have f prime of x is equal to negative sine of x. And applying x equals 0, f prime of 0 is equals to negative sine of 0, and that is equals to 0. Remember that x equals 0 is used to satisfy the Maclaurin series requirement. Then, for the second derivative, we have f double prime of x is equals to negative cosine of x. And for f double prime of 0 is equals to negative cosine of 0, and that is equals to negative 1. For the third derivative, we have f triple prime of x is equals to negative multiplied by negative sine of x. And f triple prime of 0 is equals to sine of 0 
equals to 0. And for the fourth derivative, we have f quadruple prime of x is equals to cosine of x. And f quadruple prime of 0 is equals to cosine of 0 is equals to 1. Applying these functions to Maclaurin series equation will give us cosine of x is approximately equal to the function at 0, which is 1, plus the first derivative over 1 factorial times x, plus the second derivative, which is negative 1, over 2 factorial multiplied by x squared, plus the third derivative, which is 0 over 3 factorial times x cubed, plus the fourth derivative, which is 1 over 4 factorial multiplied by x raised to 4, plus a series of infinite terms. And simplifying the equation will give us 1 minus x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial, where the third term is x raised to 4 over 4 factorial. As I mentioned earlier, Taylor series is a representation of an equation. So instead of cosine function, we will replace it with a series of polynomial terms. And this representation is very effective when it comes to complex or difficult equations. So, to determine the accuracy of this approximation, let's set x equals 0 0.5. So cosine of 0 0.5 is equals to 0.8775 while the Maclaurin series is equals to 1 minus 0 0.5 raised to 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0 0.5 raised to 4 over 4 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 2 and multiplied by 1. And that is equals to 0 0.877604. The numerical values are pretty close, but if we add more terms to the Maclaurin series, it will become more accurate. So let's solve another problem. Find the term using a Maclaurin series expansion for the equation below, f of x is equals to ln of 1 plus x. Again, let's determine the value of the function when x is equals to 0 to satisfy the Maclaurin series requirement. So f of 0 is equals to ln of 1 plus 0 is equals to 0. Then, for the first derivative, we have f prime of x is equals to 1 over 1 plus x multiplied by 1. And that is equals to 1 plus x raised to negative 1. And f prime of 0 is equals to 1 plus 0 raised to negative 1. And that is equals to positive 1. Then, for the second derivative, we have f double prime of x is equals to negative 1 multiplied by 1 plus x raised to negative 2 multiplied by 1. And f double prime of 0 is equals to negative 1 multiplied by 1 plus 0 raised to negative 2 
And that is equals to negative 1. Then for the third derivative, we have f triple prime of x is equals to negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by 1 plus x raised to negative 3. multiplied by 1. So, f triple prime of 0 is equals to 2 multiplied by 1 plus 0 raised to negative 3. That is equals to 2. Applying these functions to Maclaurin series equation will give us ln of 1 plus x is approximately equal to the function at 0 which is 0, plus first derivative, which is 1, over 1 factorial multiplied by x, plus the second derivative, which is negative 1, over 2 factorial, times x squared, plus the third derivative, which is positive 2, over 3 factorial, multiplied by x raised to 3. And simplifying this equation will give us x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3. Where the third term is x cubed over 3. For the last time, we will solve another problem with different approach. Find the 6th degree Maclaurin polynomial for the equation below. f of x is equals to ln of cosine of x. We will modify the equation by introducing 1 and negative 1. Then, let's say that this is equals to y. So, the equation will become ln of 1 plus y. And referencing to our previous computation, the value of y is equals to cosine of x minus 1 is equals to y is equals to negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the 4th over 4 factorial. While the modified equation, ln of 1 plus y is equals to y minus y squared over 2 plus y cubed over 3. By substitution, these two equations will become ln of 1 plus y is approximately equal to negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x raised to 4 over 4 factorial minus 1 half of quantity negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial raised to 2 plus 1 third of negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial raised to 3. Then, simplifying the equation, negative x squared over 2 factorial plus x raised to 4 over 4 factorial 
minus expanding this term, x to the 4th over 8, plus x to the 6th over 48. Since the resulting last term of this expansion will exceed the required degree of polynomial, which is the 6th degree, we will neglect the last term and will proceed to the other expansion. So, minus x to the 6th over 24. Again, if we continue the expansion, the resulting terms will exceed the required degree of polynomial. So we will also neglect these terms. So by further simplification, we have negative x squared over 2 minus x raised to 4 over 12 minus x raised to 6 over 48, where the term with 6 degree is the one divided by 48. So that concludes the discussion of manual computation using Taylor polynomial approximation. This last part of the video is for the computerized computation using Taylor polynomial approximation. Again, insert another module for our new method and rename it as Taylor. Create a sub-procedure and name it as Taylor series. Then, let's define the variable and their variable types. Then, the input box for the value of x and the number of derivatives. For the Maclaurin series, we will use do until loop that will stop when the prescribed number of derivatives has reached. And using else if function to capture the series feature of the Maclaurin series with different derivative functions. Take note that the formulas for the higher derivatives used in this code will be discussed in chapter 4. And ironically, they are derived using Taylor series itself. So that is how important this concept is. For the output, we will still use message box. So if I run the code by pressing F5, it will ask me about the value of x as well as the number of derivatives. And by clicking OK, it will immediately present to me the approximate value of the function. So that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Keep safe everyone.